few years ago, we looked at this program, we said it's not life after rugby, it's just life. But we want the guys right from the early stage to recognise that their career is not just rugby, their career stretches well beyond rugby. Um, I think, you know, there's a lot of lessons for us as an association and, and the players out there post their career. Yeah, mate? Justin, you can do it. You just have a seat, Rob, actually. If you want. <laughs> Most of you probably know if you've read um, my biography, um, <laughs> Life After Rugby and Adhesive Abuse. I probably had the longest lifetime ban from rugby that's ever been dished out for eye-gouging a referee's testicles. <laughs> He's a touch judge now. He doesn't actually know. Where did that guy come from? Mate, no idea. Honestly, I've got no idea. It was your guy, idea, wasn't it? It's not my idea. Honestly, Foxy, seriously. It wasn't mine. Mate, it's not mine. And he actually I don't know what he's talking about. On the rugby field, many of you will know this, you can't hide, you can't bullshit. If you're crap, people know it. In business, you can bullshit, you can lie. Um, as most of the people here will tell you, they probably got their job for bullshitting their CV in the first place. So I suppose, and is this what you want me to talk about, Rob, or not? No, probably not. We were fortunate enough to listen to that guy yeah. this week, which really sort of just relaxed the boys and, and let, them, let them get down to a, what they do, which is just play rugby, because exactly. life's pretty simple after you listen to him. Get out there and, and just bullshit, basically. <laughs> Conrad, had a huge game this weekend. Um, I don't need to say that. You don't need to say that. So why would I just say it? Um, I think we're done. I think we're pretty much done here, to be honest, mate. Um, I think we are done at the start when you just said it's all been said. It's a big game, yeah. It's, yeah, it's all been said. It's a big game. It has been said. It was just one of those nights, yeah. eh? It was just one of those nights, and uh, you hardly, hardly ever see an all-black and play like that, so um, the boys will be definitely up this week, you know? So. Well, certainly look forward to it, and um, we know all behind you. Thanks, mate. Thanks, mate. But if we could bring it back to me again, my great uncle Kenny, for example, he had a huge impact on New Zealand rugby um, for inventing the hospital parts back in. <laughs> this is pretty serious stuff. If you. It's off the rails, man. Excuse what do you reckon? I might just get back up and do a bit more of my background of stuff before I, you know, the more the sort of the early years, that kind of stuff. So uh, probably about four or five minutes. We're, we've just got a few things that we've actually got to get through. Hey, Rob. My gift to rugby, I suppose, was the defensive bomb which is the bomb behind your own post when you're hot on defence. We were hot on defence for about 35 minutes. Eventually, um, they spun the ball back to me, at first receiver there. Dan, you can probably take some note of this. And um, I just put the bomb up behind my own post, put my whole team offside, of course. Confused everyone. Managed to retrieve the ball. Runaway try, 100 metres all the way. Um, and then I sliced the conversion great function here today we've been talking about integrating rugby into business and vice versa etc and you were quite outspoken on the panel there had yeah. some great ideas um, how long have you been involved with that with that aspect of, of um, rugby and indeed business well, well, well aspect panels talking oh, yeah, panels, panels. Yeah. yeah you've been in panels for long I've uh, no that was the first panel I've ever been a part of yeah. but what I've seen of panels is pretty good never driven a panel van never done any panel beating yeah, uh, it's pretty much my history with panels. But like, mate, we've put shitloads into this, so yeah, yeah, we can't afford no, it to be stuffed it, up. No, fantastic. No, you're, you're actually distracting everyone. I was actually banned for a couple of years from emceeing or talking live on a microphone um, from a rugby dinner. Some of you remember a couple of years back, things got a little crazy and I urinated on a margarine sculpture. Um, I'll be hanging out in the car park later on, by the way, if you want to touch on anything one-on-one -on -one, or just buy any sort of um, cheap electronic goods. Okay, so thank you. Cheers, man.